Hello everybody. So, um, I know on this channel I talk a lot about writing and copywriting and marketing and all that kind of stuff, but I've noticed I've gotten the question a lot of like, well, how do you become a writer? And I kind of want to, um, well, address that kind of like how I got started, how you can maybe get started. Um, mainly just because I googled like how do you become a writer and I hated like all of the articles written about it. So I thought I would kind of, you know, like take it on because I truly believe in keeping it super real. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's, um, uh, yeah, you know, we'll get into it. So who am I to be giving you any advice? Well, um, I own my own writing business. I write all day every day. That is my job. That is my profession. Um, I work from home. I set my own hours. And I also have a degree. So apparently, um, you know, some other people thought I was like, good enough to, well, give me a degree. So, um, you know, I may know a thing or two. And I don't believe in lying to you. So let's just like lay it all out on the table. Number one, you have to analyze deep inside your heart and soul if you want to be a writer and why you want to be a writer. Because um, if you want to be something like J.K. Rowling and, um, you know, or like the Twilight Lady, I don't know her name, I'm really sorry. Don't attack me, please. Um, you have to understand that J.K. Rowling, I'm pretty sure, is like the only writer to ever Number one, see the success of her writing in her, her lifetime and also to become a billionaire off of writing alone. Um, super rare. Um, most of the books you've ever read, especially in like high school and stuff, those people never saw a dime off of their books until like after they were dead. Like way after they were dead. Um, I mean... God, I, I, like Great Gatsby, Fitzgerald, he like drank himself to death and died at 40. Sylvia Plath, super famous, offed herself. Ernest Hemingway, offed himself. Like, um, so if you're looking from like for some super glorious like career, um, well, I don't, but just like keep it real with yourself on like, your expectations of what you want. Not that it can happen, but just like, Let's lay it all on the line because I think a lot of people think that they can be like the next J.K. Rowling like tomorrow. Um, so you have fiction writing for novels and then you have nonfiction. And uh, that is a very interesting field. You could do um, um, pretty much like anything that's based on truth and like real stories is a nonfiction novel. And there's a lot of those. Um, you'd write about people, places, history, um, uh, you know, and that was not too bad. That one's very journalist, um, focused for the most part. Um, and mentioning that you could be a journalist and, uh, if you want to be a journalist, the industry is completely flipping on its head. Um, not many people are reading newspapers anymore. The industry is suffering, but I firmly believe that, um, journalism will continue and it's not over. It's just going to find a different way to survive in the internet era. And if you want to like get your little flip cam and become like a citizen journalist, like just do it, you know? Um, you could be a magazine writer, you could be a grant writer, you could be a business writer, which is the concentration I focused on, which is a lot of like, um, uh, uh, like in inside of a company, there's a lot of like business things that have to be um, written. One common thing is like press releases, and those people, press release writers, take like a new product, like uh, you know, like the new iPhone, and will write like. So Apple is releasing the iPhone, and they write on behalf of Apple, telling the world the basics of the new product or service or whatever. Um, uh, you could be a creative writer. You could write short stories or poems and uh, you could be a blogger, an editor, a copywriter, which is what I do. And there's like a million other ways to go about it. So um, don't just think you have to be like an English professor or like write a novel to be a writer. There's a million other options. Um, 
do you have to have a degree in writing to be a writer? No, not at all, not even close. You could get a degree in anything and then become a specialized writer. You could get a degree in um, physiology and then write for like fitness magazines. You could get a degree in biology and like edit um, academic papers. Like there are, oh, uh, the, I'm gonna break like each option down all throughout like subsequent videos after this. Um, so you can kind of, if one of those sounds interesting to you, I have a video coming of how to do it because I had to do all of those to get my degree. Um, the one interesting part though about getting, sorry my dogs, uh, about getting uh, your degree is that for each class you will get really interesting assignments and it can let you get really close to very awesome possible jobs because you're a student. So like if you, um, when I did my grant writing class I got to get really close to this nonprofit called I Live Here mainly because I was a student and if I had just been like hey I'm a writer I want to be a writer can you give me some work like they don't usually trust you with this bait of assignments because when you're a student normally you have a professor overhead so um, they'll usually get something awesome in return and then it's something awesome you can add to your portfolio and your resume. And your portfolio is like, there's nothing more important than that. Keep it fresh, keep writing things all the time. That's it. Um, uh, I would also say to ignore 90% of the traditional advice out there. People I see who succeed in the writing industry very well didn't follow the traditional rules. They don't like, they're the people who like come in and they pitch to like, National Geographic because they have an awesome idea and they don't say like oh well I'm not I'm you know I'm not good enough I'm not at that level yet I don't have the supposed requirements. Here's the thing most writers are ridiculously competitive um they 90% of them have an ego bigger than the moon um if you ask them how to be a writer they'll say well are you good and it's like super snotty and um, you have to understand, like, good, if people don't think you're, like, good, good is, like, wildly subjective in writing. Um, you know, like, uh, The Grapes of Wrath, which we all had to read for the most part in high school. I thought it was, like, the worst book ever. I don't enjoy Steinbeck and his writing, like, at all. But, obviously, once again, subjective, right? Um... I'd have to say, like, to be a writer, like, just practice is everything. And if you really want to be a writer, you just got to practice. Like, and understand in the back of your mind that it's going to take at least five years for your writing career to get, like, traction. Um, my dogs are losing their mind. So, anyway. Um, be ready for, like, a hundred no's before you did a yes. And as long as you, I mean, and that's probably not the case, it could even be like two in and you could did a yes. But understanding that that um, is possible and getting your mind ready for that and like being persistent, even when you get no's and even when you're pitching to people. And you know, like I said, I'm gonna go through like all of those industries and options. And I have like a million books and websites and recommendations and I have so many tips for you guys. But Seriously, here is your first assignment if you really want to be, um, if you're curious and being a writer and not really sure, I want you to sit down and I want you to think deeply about what your writing career would look like. Um, do you want to work from home like I do? Do you want to be like Mad Men and be, uh, you know, the show and like there's a copywriter in there and he's, you know, a big deal and do you want to be in the firm and do you want to, um, you know, another one I didn't touch on is like travel writing. You could travel the world and write about your experiences. Um, you know, do you want, like, are you, do you just, do you, I don't know. Like, whatever you envision, um, like, maybe you have a day job and then you come home and, or like, you get up in the morning and the best thing that you can imagine in your life is writing for like two and a half hours, you know, and and then you go to your job and you're totally happy with that. Like you have to be honest and real about what you want your writing career 
to look like. And then you can easily find an industry or everything to like fit into that. Um, so yeah, that's your first assignment. Um, what do you want it to look like? Ideally, you know, I mean, you know, it can take a while, but ideally, what do you want it to look like? And then, um, you're super welcome to leave comments below or questions or anything, and I will answer them in like all of the subsequent videos from here on out. Um, or if you think there's a, um, something you want me to touch on or my experience, because I have literally had experience in like every single one of those, except for writing a novel. That's something that I, I'm not very good at like long stories. Um, it's not my thing, but I have a lot of suggestions and options for you if you want to pursue that. Yep. So anyway, leave me some questions, uh, join my newsletter. I will leave the link below and hopefully, uh, I can't wait to hear from you guys. So hopefully that helped and looking forward to the next few videos.